Hey guys, what is up? Uh, my name's Josh, I'm the Creative Director of TapKit. Welcome. Um, I just thought I'd record this video as a brief introduction to TapKit um, so you can familiarize yourself with the tool and kind of um, on a general level just get to grips with, with the platform. So yeah, TapKit is a tool to um, design and build links to help grow um, your business. So wherever you're linking, um, you know, link with TapKit, um, it's a lot more creative. It's a lot more, um, there's lots of rich features to help you optimize when you do link. Um, so let's dig into it. So uh, when you log in, you'll hit your projects page and uh, mine's full of projects, lots and lots of them. Um, but yours probably will only have none or, or one or two. Um, but yeah, at, at, you kind of get an overhaul of your, of your projects here that, that you're running. Um, you can switch between table or grid view and um, you kind of get an oversight of uh, the two build modes. So there's a single page type, which is um, scrollable experiences, so really great for bylinks, um, and multi-page experiences, which are a bit like Instagram stories where you tap through tappable frames step by step. And um, these are really great for like educational experiences, um, scannable of QR codes or um, general interactive content that you may email or SMS or, you know, being web hosted, you can send them um, anywhere. So uh, yeah, two project types, single and multi-page. And uh, this is the projects page. Let's start a new project. And when I click this, I hit the uh, template page. So um, I'm starting to sort of see here, you can sort of discover templates and maybe find something that um, fits your brand or that you like the styling of, and then you can customize it to your heart's content. Um, there's Recently updated there, some categories here to, for you to shoot, uh, look to, um, and some sort of top level um, project types at the top. So if I hit buy links, for example, and maybe I'm a freelancer, I can take a look at all of the freelancer um, bio links. You know, um, maybe I'm a, a fashion designer and this looks like a great uh, experience for me. I may click that. Um, and uh, before I do that though, I'll just go back. So there's different ones here, and I can also start from scratch at the top there. And this shows you that sort of different build mode, single page, great for bio links, uh, multi-page, great for sort of quizzes and interactive content. Um, so let's go back. Let's pretend that um, I'm a freelancer and I liked, uh, I did quite like the look of this one. So maybe I'm a fashion designer or something. Um, so yeah, now I've dropped into the builder. Um, so as you can see, my canvas is in the middle of the screen. Um, you can see some of my project settings here. So give my project a name can change and set the background color. Um, maybe I want it to be more purpley, for example, um, and grow my canvas area. So you can grow it from here and increase the space or decrease the space or do it from here. Um, but you know, you can extend that, keep, keep extending it as far as you want um, to uh, keep um, growing your content. So um, that's the project level settings. And then over on the left here, um, let me just move my head you've got all of your widgets. So all of the fun things to bring in and you just click and they drop in and you can um, play with them and change their settings. So uh, if I click on cards, you can see here there's like social follows. So lots of social platforms to pick from um, to, to grow your audiences across them. Contact cards to quickly communicate with customers on their, on their favorite platforms, WhatsApp chat, Facebook chat, voice call, text you, email you, uh, whatever you have available. A bit more um, heroed social follows, image and campaign cards, maybe like you've got a blog or campaign running, YouTube links, um, graphical like sales or announcements, product grids, um, lots of fun things to pick and choose from. Um, I'll just quickly show you, uh, let's, for example, if I pick this, it pops into the canvas, so I can move this around and position it wherever I want. Um, you can see the guides are up right now, but I can switch them off. Um, let's make some space down the bottom to bring this in, for example. Um, and yeah, when you've got it selected, you um, will see the properties for it. So I can change the style of how that how that works. Maybe I like this one. Change the edging, square to round. Put your title in, um, new shoes. Change the color. So let's just make this red and the text white and pick a new image. Um, I can search for stock inside the tool and look for um, stock stock photography or you can just upload your own images i'm just going to pick this one and there you go there's um a sort of card card link already uh, in my in my experience so um you know just type in my link and maybe change the fonts or sizing whatever and that's good to go and 
you know, lots and lots and lots of these uh, are all down here to choose from. You've got your regular button grids or buttons, um, join your SMS marketing, uh, app, app buttons, image, videos, profile icons, different text styles, Giphy stickers. They're a lot of fun. Um, you can just pop them in and move them around and position it how you like. You can layer it with these tools um, up and behind. Um, graphic packs, so we'll be introducing lots more, but um, lots of fun sort of graphical elements to sort of pop behind buttons or layer into your experience to bring um, a bit of sort of uh, creative flair to it. Uh, email capture, um, emojis and interactive options. So loads and loads of fun things to explore and play with down that left side and you just bring them into the canvas, move them around, you know, pop in their settings and um, publish when you're ready and that's good to go. And that's your, that's your bio link ready. Um, I'm just going to go back to start over um, with one of the multi-page experiences. So as you can see, I didn't name my project, but it's already in my projects panel. Um, let's start a new one now and pick something else. Uh, let's go for quiz this time, for example. And it's exactly the same experience, but slightly different. Um, instead of it being a continual scroll and you're growing a canvas area, uh, you're now picking frames. So it's a frame by frame tap through uh, experience, um, like you get the bars at the top there, and you can design each frame and the user journey that you want to want to make, depending on what, what you are, what your goal is. Um, in this case, it's just a fun thing around watermelons. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you've got the main experience here, and then everyone goes through all these frames. And then um, there's a thing called smart result frames too. So this is the sort of uh, based on customers' choices and preferences that they make throughout the main um, flow. You can serve them different end frames. Now this is great for results or for um, recommending products based on like their preferences or um, sending people off different pathways based uh, based on your goals. Um, so in this case it's uh, whether they failed, aced it or they kind of scored okay. Um, three different end frames and they've built those up and these are assigned uh, within the flows. So um, just like the other experiences um, when you click on elements, you can pick um, different style uh, properties, make it multiple choice, pick the selection color, so when you pick it, what color it will be, and add options, all, all your property settings there. But what you've also got is logic. So if I click on logic, um, I get to see some more options. So I can choose to turn on uh, auto next frames. So when someone engages with something that's interactive, once they've made that choice or they've moved the slider or they've picked an option, it automatically just shifts onto the next frame. They don't have to sort of tap the screen to do that. So a nice little enhancement that you can do. Um, and also you can start, so assign the smart result frames. So based on people's choices here, you can score a point towards each end frame. So, you know, and once they've gone through the entire experience um, all the way through, they would then, uh, based on their scoring, whichever one scored the highest, they would then um, be served. So you can kind of get smart with it and plan out the different routes that you like. Um, you know, whether it be you offer sort of ask someone's experience of the in skincare and they, you know, beginner and intermediate expert, and maybe at that point you score uh, someone who's an expert, you score points towards the higher tier price items, and someone who's a beginner, you score to all the lower tier price items. Then you might ask them, um, you know, what's their um, preference, skincare preference, what they're hoping to achieve or overcome, you know, you get to learn that insight in your audience um, and they start tapping these options and then you can serve different products based on, you know, what they're hoping to achieve. So, you know, you can get really clever with them and uh, recommend products, recommend different routes. Um, take a look at our examples page on our website or um, check some of the platform links and there's lots of examples that you can play with for inspiration. But that's pretty much it. That's um, tap kit in a nutshell um, and when you integrate email and Facebook pixel um, you can make them super branded and that way you know you're, you're, you're collecting um, creating interactive content that's hyper engaging people are having fun and experiencing these flows are getting engaged they're not dropping off um, and you can convert these people capture email um, track them for Facebook advertising and retargeting ads and look like audience things like that so uh, a general introduction to the tool um, there's lots more videos for specifics um, in the in the uh, tutorial playlist, so um, check that out if you're looking for um, some uh, tips. But yeah, that's that's Tapkit in a nutshell. Um, thanks for thanks for listening.